What's going on, assassins? You know what day it is. It's not just Tuesday. It's also, say it with me, everybody in the back, Taco Tuesday. And besides that, it's also the weekly reset in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to find out what's going on, what have we got, what are we going to be tackling, and how Sargon is going to disappoint us today. That's right, you're going to disappoint us, I know. Look at you eating that apple. Where did you pull it from? Nasty. Anyway, I'm Darkstrad of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this. And before we get started, if you want to hit these kind of levels of mastery, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that you have that bell hit so that you never miss content whenever it comes. So as is our norm, we're going to check with Sargon and be severely disappointed. And I am not disappointed in being severely disappointed. So he has the held, which is a crew theme for 80 or cunning tacticians who preferred to pin their prey, limiting their mobility. Why are you constantly giving us ship pieces? We're kind of sick of that. Looking over at this piece of armor, Weight of War, which is part of the Spartan Renegade set. I don't believe we've ever actually had this. Not this piece. So 25% warrior damage, 10% crit chance. With the whole set, you get 100% crit damage with warrior abilities. And... This basically is decent as a warrior build if you're starting out. The crit chance and warrior damage is incredible. The crit damage with warrior abilities is also incredible. But you really need the rest of the set in order for this to actually shine, obviously. But it does make for a decent warrior build. Looking over at the epic gear, Helmet of Ares. 24% warrior damage, 30% damage with swords. 20% crit chance while full health for 40 ore. This is actually a very, very decent piece if you are going to be doing a warrior build, especially one that uses swords. I would highly recommend this. And speaking of swords, ceremonial sword, 24% warrior damage, 10% all damage, 30% damage with swords, and this one is 50 ore. And this actually would go nicely with the helmet. If you think about it, look at that. You would already have 60% damage with swords. You'd be doing some major damage. So I would definitely suggest that you pick that up. That is well worth it. So now, let's go take a look at the bounty board. Let's see what we've got here. And it looks like we have a mercenary. Perdix the Wayfarer. And we'll take that. And we also have cult cleaning. Cults are rising everywhere in Greece, and our nation fears repercussions in the long term. Exterminate them. So we'll grab that as well. Party supplies. That is the daily. So let us take a look at our quests. So I'm going to look at this cult cleaning first. Kill followers of Ares all over Greece. You need 15. Kill daughters of Artemis all over Greece. You need another 15. Now, these cannot be found in the arena. Daughters of Artemis and followers of Ares, basically what you're going to have to do is, when you look at the map, you're going to look for certain locations. And let's take a look at where these locations are. Get closer. And let's see. That wouldn't be it. You're going to look for stuff like this, but that's a bandit camp. So right here, forest camp, kill lead huntress. You find things like that, and that is where you will find your follower, uh, not followers of Ares, but the the uh, sisters of Artemis. You'll, you'll find them there. Now, followers of Ares, you're going to have to go and find anything that says cult leader. So like over here, the cave of Kratos kill clan chief that actually will have a bunch of followers of Ares. there is also another spot over here which 
I believe you actually would be able to take out an entire group of them. I believe it's this cave right here, Seaside Cavern. I believe that has a ton of followers of Ares just to make your life easier. And let's take a look at the other quest. We are looking for this mercenary. Let's take a look at where he is. Me killing mercenaries left and right over here. Okay, so Perdix the Wayfarer. There he is right there. We'll see. Never had a place to call home. Never knew his mother or his father, but he knew the winding roads. He traveled like family. He learned to identify poisonous herbs and how to build elaborate shelters when he had to make a living becoming a roving mercenary was a role he took to naturally. So Perdix's Gauntlets. 24% assassin damage, 50% elemental buildup, and 20% elemental resistance. In all honesty, this is a great piece if you plan on doing an assassin poison build. What you're going to want to do is make sure that you've got other gear that kind of complements the whole poison thing. The 50% elemental buildup, that buildup is not just for fire, it's also for poison. And 20% elemental resistance, that's actually pretty good. That actually means that you will be immune or resistant to fire and poison, but only 20%. If you could get another 80% in gear or engravings, you'd be invincible. You'd be immune to fire and poison, which would be like an awesome thing to do. So anyway, let's take a look on the map as to where this fool is. And as always, I'm going to try to capture him. So here he is. He's not that far. He's over in Laconia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right now and I am going to try to get to him. Sometimes I'll warp here and like he'll teleport over here somewhere and so on and so on. So it becomes a chase. I'll get to him and then I will bring you guys in. So this wasn't too bad. I wasn't too far from him. I'm kind of zooming in on him. He has a wolf with him. Alright, I'm trying to actually stun him, but the problem is here that all these other characters now are on him because he attacked the citizen. Well, it looks like I'm not getting the... Uh, I'm not getting him for my ship, it looks like. I could always just hit a, a one of those uh, auto saves and do it that way, but the heck with it. It's a lesson learned. Gotta kind of not do this when we're surrounded by a whole bunch of, like, lunatics. And with my gear, I am immune to any sort of melee damage, but elements can affect me. And I'm just a powerhouse anyway, just with all this stuff. Just have like a whole bunch of dead bodies just laying in the street. There we go, that horse didn't know what he was doing. Just killing people and citizens and soldiers all I want to do is just check on this guy's corpse there we go okay nope still some more that guy said that's not good that is amazing you're right it's not good Okay, there you go. Now I can go check this corpse here. Amongst all this stuff. Gotta confirm the kill. There it is. So I got the ornate dagger. I also got another piece of armor. And I've got 44 ore as opposed to 40 because as I've said before, 
when you're the maximum level mercenary, that is when you actually are able to obtain a 10% gain on all ore that you receive. So, rather than 40 ore, I get 44 on weeklies and mercenaries or ships. And on dailies, rather than 10, I'll get 11. Again, not a lot, but it adds up. So let's see, finally killed this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to that cave and see if that is the cave that actually has all those followers of Ares. And then I'll bring you in there so that you could see. So that way you could have just an easier time collecting these things because the followers of Ares and the daughters of Artemis, it's really hard to get all that stuff together. But we'll see. So I just checked this out. This is the Seaside Cavern. This is where you will find it again. It'll be over the Petrified Islands on Lesbos all the way in the northeast. And you'll see this cavern here. It'll be like right next to like a wreck. And you just follow this blood trail like right into this cavern here. And it's kind of like a little labyrinth. And while you're in here, you'll find all kinds of these uh, followers of Ares, and obviously just take them out. I remember going to this cave because, like, we had so many times in the beginning when Odyssey first came out where we were looking for, like, all this stuff. And this was just easier just to do this. Rather than go to the Cave of Kratos, walk around, go to like some other thing, and then come back. You just keep coming to like caverns like this. I'm pretty sure that there are 15 in here. If not, all you have to do is, after going here, go to the Cave of Kratos and just clean up like the remaining. There we're at seven. Yeah, there's a thing up there I think that we gotta check out. Oh no, that's just a little like a little side thing. There's nothing really here. But we'll keep going around and, and taking a look in this cave, because like I said, there's just a ton of them. I think the Cave of Kratos only has like six or seven. So here we're already at nine and we're not even through the entire cave. Here goes two more. I think the Daughters of Artemis is actually going to be like a little bit easier. I think that they actually have like a whole development that you could go to. Yeah, there we go. So now we're outside. That was a whole mess of them. Now all we have to do is go to the Cave of Kratos and clean up. That was 11 in there. That really wasn't that bad. That was a lot of freaking followers of Ares in one location. Let me see if I could find you a location for the Daughters of Artemis, though. I'm pretty sure I got one. So I've got the perfect place for you to find Daughters of Artemis. You come over to Malice, you come to this town, Lamia, and there are just tons of them. They are everywhere. You have an entire town here at your disposal of these Daughters of Artemis. And I mean, they will come at you. So just be mindful, even with the Northern Traveler set, even with 100% melee resistance, they're still going to hit you with arrows. They're going to hit you with fire. 
and it's going to get messy. So make sure that you're able to heal up and make sure that you're able to like really take out bunches of them at a time. And that's where this helps out. This is one of the perfect opportunities for this. Look at this, I already did it. I didn't even have to go, I didn't even have to do that much. That was like over before it even started. So there you have it, once again, 44 for the, uh, for the completion. And that's because I'm the top tier mercenary. Look at this, they're still coming at me. They're still everywhere. It's, it's like a freaking battlefield. Look at this. It's like a conquest battle. A little more coming. Look at that. An entire town. So there you have it. That's what you want to do. You want to go there so that that way you're able to like take all these people out and do it fairly quickly. So that way you can complete the challenge. So that's all there was to that. Uh, you know, real quick. Let me know in the comments below, what do you use when you go and you take out the Daughters of Artemis or when you take out the Followers of Ares? Do you use those two places? Is it convenient and easier for you? Have you found something that's even more easy or convenient? Let me know that in the comments below. Other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until the next one, take care.